In this tutorial, I want to talk about using the library databases to find journal articles for your literature review. The first thing you'll want to do is go to the library's homepage. There's a link at the bottom of the Lambeth University le website labeled Library. Click on this link and you'll go to the library's homepage. On the left side of the homepage, underneath Library Databases, are a list of some of the library's databases. For this class, Psychology and Behavioral Sciences will be an important database to use for your literature review. Also, Academic Search Premier will contain a good set of sources and General OneFile. You'll need to look in all these databases to find articles for your literature review. Further down the web page, you'll see a heading which says Research Guides. Under this heading, there are specific guides which may help you in this class, such as the Guide for Finding Scholarly Sources. Also, you will see a link which says More Library Subject Guides. Click on this link and you will go to a page that contains all of the library's subject guides. There's a specific guide on this page for the Sociology Literature Review. The guide is in PDF, so you'll need Adobe Acrobat Reader to be able to download this onto your computer. But here you will see a list of some important journals that we have in the library on sociology, and also you will see some discussion about how to choose a good article and what criteria to use. There's also links to the databases. Another thing you want to consider looking at is the Social Sciences Index. The Social Sciences Index is a very useful tool because it allows you to look for articles by subject. Also, it's a great tool because it helps you refine your subject headings. For instance, there's a broad heading for college students. Underneath college students, there's sub subdivisions such as alcohol. It lists all the articles that talk specifically about college students and alcohol. So you can use these subject headings to create a more refined and better search. Now let's talk about searching one of the databases specifically. I'm going to search the Psychology and Behavioral Sciences database because it will be one of the most used for this class. I'm going to go back to the library's homepage and click on that link and you'll notice the search interface here. There's three boxes at the top and there's a box there that has been checked beside scholarly and peer-reviewed journals. This will enable you to find scholarly articles. Now I'm going to search for college students and voting behavior. And the way I want to do this is I want to take my research question and divide it up into concepts. So I would never type a complete question in those boxes. I would always just type in subject terms or keyword terms, mostly nouns. So you want to break your research question down into concepts, put one concept in each box, and combine them with, with an. So I've got my search terms here, college students and voting behavior. Once I type in my terms, then I'm going to click on the search button over on the right side of the screen. Now that we've ran a search, we get a set of results. You can look at the number at the top of this page and determine that we've got over 13,000 results for this search, which is a large number. So we might want to look at ways to modify this to make it more manageable. If you look at the other side of the page, underneath Limit Your Results, you'll see there's a couple of places where you can check boxes, such as Scholarly Peer Reviewed, which is already checked, but then you can use Full Text to limit this search even more and reduce the number of results. So we click on Full Text and rerun the search. And you can see it reduces the amount of results that we've got. We still have a large number of results here. I clicked on PDF Full Text in order to look at the full text of one of the articles. As you can see, this is the full text PDF page image of the ar article as it originally appeared in the magazine. Now we want to evaluate the article for scholarship. The most important factor in evaluating an article is to determine who the author is and then to determine what sort of expertise they have. As you can see in this article, the author is prominently presented, easy to identify, and you also notice that they are affiliated with a university. So these are the things to look for when evaluating to see if a source is a scholarly source look for author information 
be able to identify the author and the author's affiliation. What sort of degrees, credentials, or associations does the author have? There are other factors as well. You'll notice that this article has several different sections. You will see sections such as method, which talks about the method of the research that they used for this article. You will also see things such as conclusions or data analysis. You will notice that there is a large table in this document with a lot of statistical data. You typically don't see this kind of information in an article written for the general public. So this is another element to look at to determine scholarship. Notice the results here. There's a lot of statistical analysis. So this is something that you usually always see in a scholarly article. There's also a detailed bibliography, a very long bibliography at the end, like you see here. You want to also make sure that the author has a bibliography or is citing sources. This is another important factor to look for when determining scholarship. Now I'm going to talk about some search strategies which you can use to improve the relevance of the articles that you retrieve. What we'll do here is we're going to click on one of the titles which is in blue link and then we'll get a description of the article. So I'm going to scroll down the page here and click on the one that says Perception of Minorities Collective Identity and Voting Behavior. If I click on this link, I'll get a description of the article. You'll notice that in this description you have the author's name, the title of the journal, and also some subject terms. These subject terms are very effective ways to refine your search. Now these are not the same terms that you use to do a keyword search. But what you can do is you can search for articles using keywords, find one good article, then use the subject terms to refine your search. If you click on the subject terms, it brings up everything in the database that uses that subject term to describe the article. You can also use the Find Similar Results link over on the right side of the page. The system will look for similar articles in the database. One method that I think is very effective for doing searches is to find one article that works really well on your research topic. Click on the link that describes that article, which is the title in blue, then go down into the description and look at your subject terms. Then start using your subject terms to refine your search. So you find one good article, then use the subject terms that are used to describe that article. Click on those subject terms and bring up other articles that use the same subject terms. This is a very effective way to finding good relevant sources on your topic. You can also use the Find Similar Results button in the right and the computer will look for articles that have similar subject terms and similar descriptions. This has been an overview of using the databases to find articles for your literature review in your social sciences research methods class.